Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Friday, April 29th. It is the 119th day of the year. There are 246 days left. Happy National Peace Rose Day. Each year on April 29th, National Peace Rose Day honors a well-known and fruitful garden rose. The light yellow to large cream-colored flowers of the Peace Rose have slightly flushed crimson pink petal edges. It is a hybrid tea rose that is hardy, vigorous, and highly resistant to disease. French horticulturist Franson Mayland developed the Peace Rose between 1935 and 1939. When he foresaw the German invasion of France to protect the new rose, he sent cuttings to his friends in Italy, Turkey, Germany, and the United States. It is believed these cuttings were sent to the United States on the last plane available. Each country that received a cutting gave the rose a different name. In France, it was called Madame A. Mayland in honor of the breeder's mother. Italy named the rose Gioia, meaning joy, in Germany, the name of the rose was Gloria Day for glory to God. The United States named the rose Peace, and the national flower of the United States is the rose. Today is also National Zipper Day, National Shrimp Scampi Day, National Arbor Day, and International Dance Day. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shout outs today start us off with Mrs. Lowe and Ms. O and everyone in the special education program at Martin Luther King High School in Riverside, California. Next, we move over to Mrs. Owens and everyone in her third grade class at Twin Hills Elementary School in Okmulgee, Oklahoma. Next, we have Mr. Bruni and everyone in the Vocational Transition Program at Batavia High School in Batavia, Illinois. Next is Mrs. Zinnies and everyone in her middle school classes at Brook Lawn Middle School in Parsippany, New Jersey. And our fifth shout out today is Mrs. Bicow and everyone in her third grade class at St. Catherine's School in Spring Lake, New Jersey. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for your support and I hope you loved your shout outs. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below in the description. And our updated super spectacular shout out map. How about that? Let's make a paper rose. Grab the following supplies. Three pieces of square paper, scissors, a pencil, and tape or glue. Let's get started. Take one of the square pieces of paper and fold it diagonally. Then you're gonna fold it two more times Using your pencil, you're going to round the top edge and then trim that part off with your scissors. And then you're gonna cut the corners off to open a small hole at the bottom. And you'll have a flower shape with a hole at the center. And you're gonna do that to all three pieces. So next you're going to take one flower shape and cut and remove one segment from it. You're gonna take the second flower shape and cut and remove two segments from it. And then on the last one, you're gonna cut and remove three segments. Save all the pieces. Now use a pencil and round all of the petals on all of the pieces of flower. Using tape or glue, you're now going to glue the cut edges together of each of the sections. And on the last smallest one, you're just gonna kind of roll it together and then tape it so it's like a little tube. Now 
Now you're going to start with the largest piece and then you're going to put the next largest piece inside of that one and then the next largest piece and basically go from biggest to smallest and kind of arrange them as you go and then once you have them the way you like you can glue or tape them together and you've made a rose. Okay National Dares, so that is a pretty realistic looking rose, if I do say so myself. And I, oh, apparently my glue's not sticking all the way. Uh, I made a really big one to make it easier for you guys to see what I was doing, but that's the great thing about this is roses come in all different sizes, right? So we could use smaller square pieces of paper and make smaller ones. You could use even bigger pieces of paper and make super huge ones. I mean, this one's pretty big, look at, yeah, it's like the size of my head. So I was looking on the internet and I noticed that peace roses tend to have more than one color to them. So I'm actually going to use a marker and kind of like color around the edges to give it a little more depth. Won't that be pretty? So you could do the same thing. You could use different colored pieces of paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so customizable. It's amazing. Go make some paper roses. Have a peace rose kind of day. Think of ways that you can uh, enjoy some peace around you or maybe, you know, help create some peace in your family. Do something special for a parent or a sibling or someone in your family or a friend. Be kind. It's what I love. Keep smiling. Have a fabulous Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye.